right about needing savings majority be at home with no pressure yeah yeah like like I said in that video on that, sometimes there's mishaps and then sometimes no matter how on point and how uh, smart you are and how careful you are, you get caught out. You get caught out of the fucking, um, the boiler broke down, like I said in that video, and the company said, oh, no, man, you need to buy a new boiler and that. Blah, don't, don't tell me about buying a new boiler, but that's a two grand job. Who has two grand to just, because they don't know my, my situation, who has two grand to just pull out like that and buy a new boiler? And then they, they, to be fair, I need to chase them out. They're trying to tell me, oh, we're not giving you £250 back, cash back um, for the boiler reimbursement because you have no up-to-date service history for the boiler. Well, of course I don't have no up-to-date service history for the boiler. That's why the boiler fucking broke down. Come on, man, do the maths, man. If I was servicing the boiler looking after it, you think it would have broke down? But, um, yeah, mishaps happen, innit? And so one, sometimes you might have to just pull out two grand. A lot of people ain't got that. A lot of people ain't got that. I don't know what they said about the average person's savings, but I think they said like the average person, they only have like about three or four grand saved up or something like that. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man, it's important, man. Trust me, when times are good, don't think to yourself, yeah, let me go on them holidays and that. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. Nah, relax yourself, man. Relax yourself. Save your money, man. Save your money. The other day, went to my fucking flat. Um, there's a letter through my door, and it's my fault as well, man. Just forgot. You ain't paid your council tax for ten months, so now you owe us one thousand five hundred. Man, paid it today, blood. Or oh, we're gonna take you to a court. Rare, rare, rare. I totally forgot. I remembered, but it was like, ah, yeah, I saw that out when I saw that out. No, we want a 1,500. Man, let's have to pay that. Again, obviously, that could have been easily avoided. But what I'm saying is, man has a savings. So if things like that do happen, got it covered, got the tick pack, didn't it? Do you think you should tell family how much you got saved? No, blood. Don't tell no one how much you got saved, blood. Why do you think, yeah, this is what happens, yeah, when people win the lottery, yeah, they go into hiding. You know why? Because all the people, them, all the termites in the family come out of the woodworks. Man, you ain't even spoke to you for six months. Six years, what am I talking about six months? That's not, man, you ain't spoke to you for six, uh, six years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you about all their problems and that. Like me, I'm not a friendly person or nothing like that. So I don't think there'll be many people in my family that will even have the, I'm not even saying the balls as in they're shook, but would even have the audacity to ask me, car. Me, man's like public enemy number one, innit? Yeah, people in my family don't say it to man's face, innit? But I know a lot of people don't like me in my family and I don't even do nothing to people, innit? But just the way I am and that and whatever, innit? Um, I don't think a lot of people in my family would even have the balls. Again, it's not no shock thing or the audacity. It's not no shock thing to come and approach me if I won 10 million or whatever. Innit? There'll be one or two idiots that would try, man, I send them packing. But if you're a friendly person, like, like Nadia, boy, Nadia will have the whole, e e everyone asking, oh yeah, begging money or whatever. If you're a real friendly person and that, you want to see if you won the lottery, if they knew you were sitting on 10 million, that much people would be, extra friendly with you oh yeah 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 let's go out to the clubs and that uh, spike your drink and want well, to take your credit card details and that uh, nah nah so do not tell your family and friends how much you got in save don't tell them you i mean you could tell your mum if you want but why does your mum and dad need, really need to know fam yeah like why does your mum and dad really need to know how much you got in savings you know what I'm saying, innit? Like, they don't know. Um, so, so they don't need to know. Why, 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 you know, why, why does your family and that need to know how much you got in savings? Now, if you're looking to go into business with them or you're going to buy a property with them, then yeah. They need to know, innit? They need to know if you're serious, innit? Because anyone can say, yeah, 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 let's buy a property, mum. Let's buy a property, dad or bro or sis. And you ain't got two pence to your name, innit? Um, but other than that, nah. Nah, 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 they don't need to, to, to know how much money you got. Nah, nah. Because believe it or not, family members will try to rip you off, you know. Ah, oh, see, man spilling all the beans on his human nature. 
uh, live stream already. My man need to keep it stum. Come on, spoiling it. Yeah. Fam family members will try to rip you off. So that's all I'm going to say until the rest of the live stream, until this live stream kicks off. Man said, man, don't kill you. Blah, there was a case in America. None of you even spoke about it in a live stream. I even put the link in, in the live stream in the chat. I said, you know what? You know me, I don't care about views. Look, man, I only got seven people in it, but man, I appreciate all views and that. Um, I don't care about views. Man put the link for this video during the live stream. I said, look, you look can go and watch this video for a few minutes. Come back, I'll still be here. This woman tried to set, well, yeah, she set up her, her husband to get murdered. Because she wanted his life support money, um, his life insurance money. Let's say his life insurance was worth a mil or two mil. She hired a hitman to get him pitched. But the hitman was a fake policeman posing as a hitman. So in America, and I'll assume in, the in, in England as well, it's legal. Well, it's not legal, but they can't arrest you if you're talking about getting someone killed. Don't do this though. Don't I want no one using this live stream and say, oh, JY said. It was said to do nothing, but if you organize to get someone murdered, <laughs> can't believe I'm really chatting about this. But if you organize someone to get murdered, and that they can't arrest you until you actually start handing over some money. So she put down a deposit for her husband's murder. Uh, yeah, it was $50 or something like that. And once she exchanged the money over, all right, bam, now we can arrest her. Now, She's committed an offence. She's actually uh, gone into some kind of verbal agreement and contract with someone um, to get her husband killed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I mean? It's viral. I want to hit headlines, man. Trust me, trust me, I guarantee you in America, there's a lot of men that just mysteriously died or mysteriously got murdered. Yeah, like, uh, it was mistaken identity and that, nah, his bitch set him up. Yeah, yeah. Man will kill you over money. Yeah, about all the time in the end. Man them robbing their brethren for a chain. Come on, man, you're really going to rob your brethren for a chain? Yeah, man, they want to end to be careful, blood. Like, they think that their brethren is their brethren. Yeah, your brethren is your brethren because you're broke. Make you be sitting on two million pounds in cash and a man knows what that is. Bruh, that door is coming off, blood. That door is coming off, man. You seriously need some high levels of respect. For a man to not want to rob you if you've got a substantial amount of money. I'm not talking about five or ten grand. Obviously, it depends. There's certain man that will lick you. One of your brothers will lick you down for five or ten grand. But he ain't even your friend anyway. But if you've got man that you think are your friends, yeah, we'll find out if they're your friends if you've got ten mil and they ain't got nothing. They'll fucking they'll rob you, man. They'll rob you because remember, man, them that are on road, they don't have short term, they don't have long term thinking. They're just thinking about making money now and and that. Instead of working with the man that has got 10 mil or whatever and trying to find a way to make that kind of money and learn from him, no, let's rob him because it's going to take too much time to figure out how to and learn, learn the thing, learn for 10 years to make 10 mil. So, you know what? We can rob him on a Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick, quick bonus, quick, quick money. Yeah, you have to, you have to remain anonymous. For one, you got the vultures, the, you know, the, the termites, the people them in your family that come out of the woodwork. Secondly, man are gonna wanna rob you. Man are gonna wanna lick you down because they know the difference between someone who uh, has won the lottery and someone who's a multi-millionaire, because you have to check it. People who are like multi-millionaires and that, they ain't got a million pounds in their in their bank account. No, they've got pure assets though that are worth a mil. They probably only got 50 grand in their account. But someone who's just recently won the lottery, they're gonna be sitting on three, four, ten mil in cash. Because more than likely they ain't bought nothing with it, so they have no assets. So yeah, they're the person to rob. 
You know, I never heard of anyone lifting up a house out of the ground and walking off with it. But you can stick a man up for X amount of money and threaten a man to transfer money. You know, you can't threaten a man to put this yard in my name. <laughs> that doesn't make no sense. So, yeah, it's dangerous, man. It's dangerous, it's dangerous. But again, um, you know, people say money is, is, is the root of all evil. No, people are the root of all evil. And that's actually one of my points as well. I feel like I'm just... I'm ruining the live stream from for, for talking. I'm gonna have to keep it a bit stupid.